In this video, I'll show you how to log in from router to another router using Telnet and SSH in Huawei ENSP simulator. Uh, using the topology created in the previous videos, uh, we have router 2 connected back to back using Giga Ethernet interface to uh, router R1. Router R2 will be configured to enable Telnet and SSH access to it. And Router R1 will be used to initiate Telnet and SSH login requests to R2. First, let's enable Telnet on the router. We have to uh, create VTY interfaces, have to be configured with authentication password or triple A. Let's log in to router R2. To configure the VTY interfaces, we have to go to the system view, then we enter user interface, user dash interface, VTY 04, and we set authentication password. in cipher mode and let's set Huawei as a password for the VTY access. If the users uh, logged in to the router using Telnet, they, they would be asked to enter password Huawei. Next, we have to check for the IP connectivity between our router R1 and router R2. We have router R1 and router R2 connected to each other using Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. So there should be IP connectivity working properly between them. Let's test the configuration of interface Giga 0 slash 0 slash 0. On router R2, we have the IP address 10.1.1. Dot two, and let's go to router R1, right click on it, then press CLI. We have already Giga interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 connected and configured with 10.1.1.1. Let's double check this interface again. Display current configuration interface Giga if interface or your GI 0 slash 0 slash 0 and it's configured with IP address 10.1.1.1 and the mask 255.255.255.252. Two 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 we can ping router R2 on the interface. We have to ping on 10.1.1.2. So we have uh, IP connectivity working properly and the test uh, using ping went successfully. And now we have set password authentication on the VDI access of R2 and we have IP connectivity. We can initiate the telnet session from R1. Simply we go to the user mode, which we are in now in router R1 and we write command telnet and the IP address of the telnet server, which is R2, 10.1.1.2. Here we have uh, 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 login authentication required from the telnet server, 10.1.1.2. We are asked to uh, provide the password, which is already configured there on the VTY access. We write Huawei, then press enter. Now, the prompt changed from R1 to R2. Now we are in R2 using uh, Telnet access to the R2. So let's go to the second um, login access type using SSH, which is, which is more secure over Telnet. So we will do the same and we will go to the R2 to configure it as a SSH server. And we will test, test the SSH session 
to uh, R2 from R1. So if we need to uh, disconnect the tenant session, we write quit. Now we disconnected and we get back to R1. Let's go to R2 again and configure and enable the SSH configuration. We have four steps to configure and enable SSH on the router. First step is to configure an RSA local key pair on the router, which, is, which will be used for the authentication and encryption between the client and the server of the SSH. We will use command on the system view of R2, RSA, local, key, pair, create. Then press enter. RSA keys defined for the host already exist. So if we need to replace it, if it's configured before and we need to replace it, so we press Y or yes, then uh, we are asked to specify uh, the key length or the key size of the RSA key, which is by default is 512. Let's change it to make it more secure to uh, 1024, then press enter. Now keys are generated on R2. So RSA keys now are already generated on R2. Second step is to configure the VTY interface, which is used to get access to the SSH. We have to change the authentication type of the user interface from password to triple A. We have to set or to configure triple A on the VTY access as an authentication type. So we go to the interface of VTY. And we change the authentication mode from password to triple A. Password is the default authentication mode on the VTY access. Now it's changed. Then we have to enable SSH protocol as an impound protocol on the VTY line using this command, protocol impound SSH, then press enter then quit to exit the level of the VTY and back to the system view mode. So let's go to the third required step to enable SSH. We have to specify a user account using AAA. So this user account will be used for the SSH action, or sorry, the SSH access from the uh, client, SSH client. So we go to the triple A level, then specify the user of the SSH using local user. Let's name the user as Hamdi. Password, cipher. Let's name the password as Huawei cipher to encrypt the password in the configuration file to make it more secure and encrypted, not visible to uh, users that are viewing the configuration file. Then press enter. And second step in the AAA configuration is to define SSH as a privilege to this user, which is Hamdi. So we have to define it using this command, local dash user, Hamdi, service type SH, then quit. This is, this is the third required step. Finally, we have to enable the Stelnet service on the uh, server router, SSH server using this command, stelnet, stelnet, which is uh, secure telnet, stelnet server enable, to enable the R2 to operate and function as 
Estelnet. Then finally, we configure SSH user Hamdi, which is configured in the AAA configuration with the authentication type password. That will enable the uh, user Hamdi to get in the router with the password specified in the AAA configuration. We can exit using Control Z from the system view mode. And if we need to uh, configure and save the configuration, we have to type save, then press enter. Yes. That will write the configuration and save it on R2. Let's get back to R1. Here we have to initiate an SSH session to R2. R1 is a client of the SSH and R2 is a server. So to initiate an SSH session, we have to go to the system view mode, then specify this command stillnet and the destination address of the R2, which is the SSH server. 10.1.1.2 as used before. Now we are asked to provide the username of the SSH client, which is Hamdi. Here we have an error appeared. The error says that fail to verify the server's public key. Please run the command SSH client first time enable to enable the first time access function and try again. So in the client, we are required to give a command, which is SSH client first time enable. This command will ask the router, which is a client, to skip checking the validity of the RSA public key when logging into the server for the first time. This is required if we are initiating the SSH server for the first time. So let's change or add this command, SSH client, first time enable, then press enter. Let's try again, Esternet, and then the destination address of the server, username, MD. Now, the server is not authenticated. This is because we are getting in R2 for the first time. And the router is asking us, would you like to access it? So we answer yes, why? Then the router asks us if we would like to save the server's public key, yes. Then we are asked to provide the password for Hamdi, which is Huawei. Then press enter. Now we are in R2. We get in R2 now successfully using SSH. So now we successfully logged in router R2 using two types of authentication, which is Telnet and SSH. For, for sure, if we configured SSH, Telnet will be disabled by default because we specified in the VTY line of R2 protocol inbound SSH. Let's, let's check it. Display current configuration to display all the configuration files of the router. Now we have protocol inbound SSH. If we try to access R2 using Telnet again, let's try it. Here we are in router R2. Let's quit to close the SSH session and try to Telnet to R2, 10.1.1.2. Sorry. We have to quit and use this command in the user mode, 10.1.1.2. 
now we are trying to access 10.1.1.2, but without response from R2, because R2 is not allowed, it's not allowed to give access to users using Telnet on the VDOI access because we specified only SSH. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can be beneficial for you.